Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Uh, today we're back aboard the Freelance. Sport Fisher operates daily out of Davies Locker in Newport Beach, California. We're at Catalina Island and our skipper Dave has us right out here. We're fishing calico bass, yellowtail. You never know what to expect out here. I just hooked my first fish of the day. There we go. Nice little calico. Here, goofy thanks. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be fishing along the island here, throwing live baits, looking for calico bass, maybe even yellowtail too. You never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Bradley Smokers, when you only want the very best. Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. By Game Saver. Preserve your fish, use a Game Saver. And by Dan Hernandez Dipping Sauces and Fish Batter. my live bait out there just swimming behind the boat. We got lots of kelp right here. So all we're doing is throwing our bait right along the edge of the kelp, letting it swim. My bait's just getting picked up right now. So just gonna let it run a little bit. I can feel it there nibbling, it's taking more line. So I put it in gear, wind down. There we go. It's a little guy. Probably, hopefully the smallest one I'll catch today. But got them hooked really nice and easy right here. Remember, they gotta be 12 inches, so we're gonna let this guy go. That's the nice thing about fishing the kelp over here, you just never know what you're gonna catch. You just never know what you're gonna catch out here. We'll be right back. This week's boat bio is brought to you by 
Magic Metal Jigs, and B-52 Bucktail Jigs. The Freelance is a large sport fisher that operates daily out of Davies Locker in Newport, California. He's a very big boat, has large bait tanks that carry plenty of live bait, the wheelhouse has the most modern electronics for navigation and fish finding, and she hosts one of the largest galleys out of any sport boat in Southern California. Her deck is very big and there's plenty of deck space for all the anglers to do their fishing. For your next fishing charter, book a trip aboard the Freelance out of Davies Locker. That sardine out there got bit right on the kelp. Should be a calico bass. Here comes my bass right here. Nice calico. Just bounce this guy up. Nice bass, Dan. There you go, goof. It's a nice bass. Thank you. Right now, where were we fishing, goof? All right here. This is Catalina. We're right up above the, the Long Point area. Nice calico bass. Nice calico bass. We've got sheephead, a few sheephead here. Nice yellowtail. Yeah, yellowtail already popped you never up. You know what you're going to find in the kelp and Catalina. Uh -huh. and that's how simple it is. You just pin on a live bait like I showed you. Get it right out by the kelp. It's real simple fishing. Well, we're going to take a little break from the action, go to the tackle box, and give you an in-depth look at what we're using for this type of fishing. This week, the tackle box is brought to you by Cabela, America's foremost outfit. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about hook styles. I get emails all the time and people go to my YouTube channel or are asking me questions on different hook styles. When do you use a circle hook? When do you use a J hook? What are the advantages? So I just want to cover that real quickly here in the Tackle Box segment. So there's two basic styles. One is a J hook and a circle hook. And the J style hook, the big thing is when you get bit on a J style hook, when you're using this with live bait or even dead bait, you want to let the fish pick your bait up run with it for a few seconds, put the reel in gear, and then just drive that hook into the fish. You gotta take the hook out of the bait fish and into your fish. You have to set the hook really nice and strong. With a circle hook, you just do exactly the opposite. The fish picks up the bait, runs with it, count to about three, put the reel in gear, point the rod at the fish, and the fish will hook himself. Uh, there's no thinking involved. You can't set the hook or you're gonna miss the fish. Just let the fish hook itself. And once it takes the line off the reel, you got it, it's all easy to do. What's really nice about the circle hook too is about 90% of the time you're gonna hook the fish on the outside of its mouth. It's a great hook to use for new anglers when they're not sure when to set the hook. I like to use these a lot when I'm fishing, say sand bass or calicos, and there's lots of barracuda in the water. I'll use a circle hook because I'm gonna always hook the fish on the outside of the mouth, and I don't have to worry about the fish swallowing the hook or cutting through my line. That's why I like to use a circle hook. And that's when I use them. If you're not sure what hooks you need, you can always pick up one of my hook kits. And in here we have all the different hooks and styles that you need and the different colors I like to use. Also comes with a DVD that shows you how to tie knots and tie rigs for all the local type of fishing that we do. You can find these in your local tackle stores or on my website. 
Well, let's get back on the water, show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Salmon grouper. All right, want to go rock fishing? See, that's the nice thing about Catalina. One side you're getting nice calico bass. <laughs> Other side of the boat you can catch rockfish. Always can catch something here. Nice little salmon group. Be wide open on that side. Yeah, it dropped off real quick right here. How deep is it on that side? Okay, Skipper made a little move, so now we're right here in front of the Halliport area at, outside Avalon. This is what I'm switching to. We've got a half ounce bucktail B52 with a gulp bait on here. Fishing light outfit, Fluger reel, Shakespeare ugly stick light rod, custom rod. So you gotta throw it out here. We got a little reef area. This is very simple fishing. You just throw it out, let it hit the water, and just let it fall nice and slowly. And I'm just gonna stand back here by the rail. And really don't do anything to the bait. You just kind of let it fall. Here we got a fish going right here. You just let the bait fall. And as it falls, the bass sit there and they, they come up and hit it. Here I just got bit. Here, I'm getting bit right now. Just playing with the bait right there. He's chewing on it. That's what's nice about this gulp. They don't let go. Here comes the bass right here. Ooh, nice calico. Nice fish. Okay, here comes mine. Now I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit, getting bit, getting bit. So I just wind down, set the hook. Because it's not a live bait. You know, I'm fishing that bucktail with the B-52 with the little gulp bait on there. So, you know, it's not going to swim or anything. So anything picks it up, you know it's a fish. Just wind it in nice and easy. Here comes a fish right here. There we go. I don't know. Oh, there he goes. Just a little release. And again, this is what we're fishing with, just like that. Pull up. Nice bass. That's a bass. We're going to hand line this one up. Normally, you would never do that. Uh -huh. But this one, we're going to let go, OK? Thank you. Oh. OK. You're going to let it go. Nice fish. We're gonna let go. I had a gulp bait on there, but the uh, fish ate it off. Little calico bass. There we go. Go ahead and release this guy. Well, we're gonna take a little break from the action here at Catalina Island and go to the galley and show you how to cook up a delicious calico bass. This week, the galley is brought to you by. Dan Hernandez dipping sauces and fish batters. Look for them in your local supermarket. This week in the galley, I have something a little bit different. We're gonna do fish tacos with a little twist to it. What we're working with today is some calico bass, and we're on the back of my boat here in Long Beach, California. 
And I got my calico bass right here marinating in my sauce. This is the sweet and spicy sauce that I had it marinate in for a few hours. And all we're gonna do right now is go ahead and take the fish and put it in my fish batter and just coat it. You know, lots of times when you see me use this fish batter, I'm uh, making it into a, a really thick batter. But this is the way I like to use it a lot too, is just as like a flour coating. And before I put this in there, I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil in the pan. I'm gonna throw it in the pan. Now while the fish is right here on the pan, I'm gonna take a little lemon. And a little lime. And on top of it, I like the little paprika. Don't need a lot because the ingredients that we have inside the fish batter has lots of spices in it already. So just a little extra kick to it. Okay, fish is looking really good here. So let's go ahead and flip it over. Nice and crispy. Well, this fish looks perfect. It's got a nice outer coat to it. I'm gonna turn the heat off right now and just see how it's nice and crispy on both sides. This is perfect the way we want it to look. It's just really, really nice. Sir. Okay, at this stage, the fish is all done. We're ready to assemble our fish taco. And when you think about fish tacos, you usually think, you know, lots of different ingredients on top of it, you know, cut cabbage, lots of sauces, onions, all kinds of stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna do a Southern California simple style. And one of our viewers taught us this a while back to add this to it. So we got the fish, put right in a corn tortilla. There's another piece. And you can cut these pieces as big or small as you want. These are the, the jumbo size right here. And the only thing I'm gonna to add to this is a little bit of my sauce, right on top. So a little bit of sauce. We already used some for the marinade. And on top of it, I'm just gonna add some coleslaw. And it gives it a nice little crunchy taste to it. You got that hot fish with the cold coleslaw. It's a little bit different combo combination, but it works out really good. We've done this in the past before, and that's it. This is our Southern California style fish taco. Mmm. That is delicious. Remember, very simple dish to do. Pick up some of my fish batter. You can find it at your local supermarket. Also find it at Turner's Outdoorsman and at Cabalas.com. And we have it on our website. And the marinade is just my regular dipping sauce. This is the sweet and spicy model and flavor, and it tastes really good. Not only do we use it for our marinade, but we also use it as a dipping sauce on top. Very simple dish to do. You can do it like this in the back of your boat, in the patio at home, inside your kitchen. Really simple dish. For more ideas about cooking fish, visit our website. We've got lots of recipes there. Pick up my cookbook. There's lots of ideas that we have on our website to help you cook up fish dishes. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Support Fish. Calico bass, one of the breeders, probably an eight, nine pound fish. Those we generally will always let go because those are the ones that are going to keep it to where we can keep coming over here and catching nice bass year after year. Those things breed so much. So many eggs come out of those fish. We just, the bigger bass, always let the big bass go. The big calicos, never put them on the boat. Just let them go back. We'll catch them next year. 
and we'll keep this business going forever. Here, just got bit, fishing a live sardine. Skipper made a move. And a real nice spot out here on the far east end of the island, around the rock quarry. Looks like a nice calico bass, see nice deep color. The fly lining using 20 pound test line, pin reel, and one of my Dan Hernandez rods. Nice bass right here. Thanks. Nice calico bass. We're going to go ahead and release that guy. But we're going to take a break from the action. When we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Thank you. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did today. And we caught the majority of these calico bass today using live bait. And it's very important when you're fishing with live bait that you have a good lively bait on your line at all times. And that means you have to, you know, leave that bait up for a couple minutes, wind it in, put on a fresh bait. When you buy a ticket, come on a sport boat like this, they don't care if you use five baits or 500 baits. They want you to switch your bait often. So that's the whole key. This week's tip is fishing with live bait, make sure you have a good lively bait on your line at all times. Well, we had a great time fishing today by the freelance. I'd like to thank our captain, the crew, everybody's just wonderful to us. And if you're looking for a boat to go fishing on, you want to try a Newport area, I really recommend a trip on this boat to freelance. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. <laughs>